Hey guys, how's it going? Epid Alpha here, and welcome back to the channel. Today we are in Rising Storm 2 Vietnam. This is a brand new release from Tripwire. It came out May 30th, and it is a uh, squad oriented shooter. It is uh, quite an intense shooter, if I do say so myself. Now let's go ahead and get into it here. Let's get into the character customization. Now, Everything that we're going through here, selecting uh, the side or the um, roll, um, all this equipment, all the gear is all cosmetic. It does not give any type of advantage to your uh, to your soldier, to your pilot. So it's basically just a uh, visual thing here. As you can see, we're checking out some uh, helmets and whatnot for the pilot here. And uh, this is the army pilot, so you can see that let's go ahead and switch over to the infantry here and uh, you got like tattoos you have like uh, facial accessories um, you have headgear obviously different helmets and uh, bandanas and uh, haircuts and whatnot which is pretty cool I'm only a level uh, four so I haven't unlocked the majority of this obviously you get different shirts and uh, pants or uniforms you can go ahead and put on and you can also uh, switch sides, obviously. So if you wanted to play the uh, uh, something other than the U.S. Uh, Marines or U.S. Army, you can go ahead and do that. And once again, it's kind of kind of the same thing here. You got your different um, shirts, faces, headgear, um, all that good stuff to go along with the customization here. And this gives just a nice, nice personal touch. To the uh, battlefield when you're on it, you see um, not the same soldier run around. Everybody's kind of got their own take on it or uh, got their own customization that they've uh, put on their soldier, which is a very nice, very nice addition. Because uh, I mean, after a while, it does get pretty boring to see the same thing just over and over again. So uh, let's go ahead and get into it here. Let's go find us a server to get onto so I can show you guys some of the action. And while we're doing that, while there's a little bit of gameplay in the background, I'll go ahead and give you guys some of the deals that are going right now. If you guys were to head over to Green Man Gaming, they have a 10% off their digital edition. So it is $26.99, which is ridiculously affordable for a current shooter. Um, nowadays, it's not a $60 game. Now, the digital edition does come with some extra content. So you have the um, early access to uh, headscarf, uh, lowland ERD camo on your helmet. You have boonie caps. Um, you have, of course, the pilot dark horse helmet, which is what I uh, showed just a second ago. And you also have a camo Yurshika, which is uh, just a headgear. But uh, just got kind of an idea of uh, what the digital pack includes. Once again, if you go to Green Man Gaming, they do have a discount. However, if you're looking at buying maybe just the standard edition, if you go on Steam right now, you can pick up the standard edition um, for $22.99. I just just a quick note here. I just realized that you can buy the uh, digital edition also for ten percent off in Steam. So there's, there's really no need to go to Green Man Gaming unless you're just uh, a fan of theirs and want to go through them in order to purchase it. Anyways, let's move on here. This game can be picked up for twenty two forty nine right now. Of course, this offer, this special promotion offer, does end June sixth. So, if you guys are interested in this, I would definitely recommend uh, picking it up. Twenty-two forty-nine is insanely accessible. Um, it's more than affordable, if you ask me, for a current brand new shooter. Now, let's talk about that. What kind of shooter is this? This is a very gritty, very realistic shooter that uh, pits basically the US Army or the US Marines against the uh, Vietnamese uh, forces here and it's um, 
there's no mini map to kind of guide you um, into where the uh, action is. Uh, of course, there is a map. You can uh, go ahead and bring up that menu. However, there's no mini map on the screen where you can kind of, you know, get an idea where the fire, uh, the heavy firefight is coming from. You just have to have to use your senses here, use your sound, use your sight, figure out where this heavy, heavy fire is coming from, which makes the game very realistic. So let's go ahead and see exactly what you're getting in Rising Storm 2 Vietnam. You're getting 30 plus authentic weapons and some of the more popular weapons would be the M16 rifle which I'm sure a lot of people know. The M14 battle rifle. You're getting the M60 light machine gun. You're getting the M70 grenade launcher. You're getting the M3 grease gun and you're getting the M9 Seven flamethrower, and of course that is all for the U.S. side. Now for the North Vietnamese weapons, you'll be getting the Type 56 assault rifle. It's like an AK, is basically what it is. You're also getting a RP RPD, excuse me, light machine gun, RPG 7 rocket launcher, a Mat 49 SMG, a SKS carbine, and a Dushka heavy machine gun, which is obviously mounted. And you can use that to engage some of the uh, air targets or or personnel on the ground. Now, some of the weapons features include adjustable stocks and bayonets. Uh, you can dial in the range with iron sights and scopes. You got advanced recoil systems, enhanced sniper scopes, and alternate weapon variants and ammo loadouts, which you'll see me switching to. Uh, a little bit further on in this video. Additionally, you're getting a 64 player battle here. Um, so you can go ahead and uh, create a squad or join a squad and play a particular role. Um, and there are multiple roles to be played, as you will see probably in the background footage that I have rolling right now. Now, if you are the U.S. side, you can fly uh, aircraft, helicopter. Um, you can call in gunships, napalm, and recon aircraft to uh, pinpoint and uh, destroy the North Vietnamese forces. However, if you're the NVA, you can go ahead and use improvised weapons and traps, ambushes, and guerrilla warfare to outwit and outmaneuver the enemy. For instance, a good example of this would be the uh, tunnel system that the NVA has. Uh, it can basically take you very close to the front lines without having to run across open ground to get there. Whereas the U.S. forces are going to have to run across open ground in order to get to that particular area. Which means they'll be an uh, easier target. Um, of course, you have your, your personal... Um, customization of your character here, which I, I went over a little bit at the very beginning of this video. I gotta say, as far as a, a new shooter, as far as something that is a hardcore, gritty, in-your-face, hardcore action shooter, I have yet to find anything that is better than Rising Storm 2 Vietnam. I have played Squad. I have played a couple of the other um, hardcore shooters, Arma and whatnot. And I gotta say, I prefer this. I prefer the Rising Storm 2 here. Um, it just, to me, it feels more in tune, I guess is a good way to put it. Um, it's usually a pickup, but also, once you kind of get into it, once you put a couple hours of quality time into it, and you start figuring out different locations to go to, and how weapons uh, recoil is and uh, all that stuff you can really make a pretty solid impact on the battle and I hasten to note that the overall battle if you do not have uh, good guidance or somebody calling kind of uh, what's going on where at uh, location A or B or what have you then uh, you'll probably be overwhelmed and overrun before you know it so this is very much a squad oriented game. This is uh, you have to depend on other players in order to um, 
be successful in these matches. But uh, with that said, guys, that is my take on Rising Storm 2 Vietnam. I highly recommend picking this up, whether you do it through Green Man Gaming or just Steam or, or whatever um, retailer you like there. I would highly recommend picking this up, giving it a shot, um, spend a couple of hours in the game, figuring out the mechanics, figuring out how things work, and uh, once again, there's uh, really no no better hardcore shooter that I can think of right now. Um, oh, just a quick thought here. There's also no um, yearly pass or additional uh, content to buy at the moment. So that's just another bonus. You don't have to spend another, you know, twenty-five or uh, thirty dollars uh, investing in this game to get some uh, additional uh, features to it. Anyways, guys, that's it for me. This was Rising Storm 2 Vietnam. I am F8 Alpha, and I will catch you guys next time. Scout, report behind us on Bravo on the right. I got mine maxed out. Guy, kind of yeah, I'm a dish from what's your role? Lost Bravo. Scout, report in. Assaults. So wary of that. 